ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Is that two David Onstein bombers in the same day about Arsenal? Oh my goodness. It looks like we got an update on David Rea. Sorry, not David Rea, Aaron Ramsdale. We got an update on Aaron Ramsdale, ladies and gentlemen. We got an update from David Onstein on Aaron Ramsdale potentially being sold very, very soon. Yes, three hours ago. Three hours ago, David Onstein gave us an update on Aaron Ramsdale. And I'm going to tell you guys what is happening. Surely, this is an obligation to buy, but it's with Wolves. Yes, Wolves, the team that we just faced. So, Wolves have submitted a proposal to sign Aaron Ramsdale from Arsenal, offering an initial loan that would include an option to buy next summer. Wolves are ready to cover the majority of the player's salary as part of the potential deal. Now, surely this deal would be an obligation or some sort of easy terms to get the deal done. And it, it should be reasonable, uh, a reasonable fee also. With him being with him being on 120k a week, they should they're gonna cover that way. They're gonna cover those wages plus potentially give us a fee down the line. There should be an obligation to buy. We don't know exactly how much it is, but David Onstein did tweet it out and he did mention that Wolves make the uh, Wolves make a proposal to sign Aaron Ramsdale initial loan option uh, option to buy, of course, and would cover majority of his wages. Now, I have one concern. One concern. Arsenal have not accepted it yet. Wolves have made a proposal. Arsenal should not accept any proposal where Aaron Ramsdale leaves the club on loan with no obligation to buy or options that are very favorable to Arsenal. Because if we do sell Aaron Ramsdale, that that's pure that's money in our bank. But if we loan him out and we don't sell him and we then go and spend money on his backup, we are out on the money that we spent on the backup. Plus, we still have Aaron Ramsdale in, the, in our team. And we're going to have a situation where we're going to have too many goalkeepers, similar to Chelsea, where you're going to be trying to get rid of them and you're not going to be able to actually recoup the value of those said players. We don't want that issue. And the reason why I say this is because Arsenal have already identified their potential new goalkeeper. Arsenal have already identified who the new goalkeeper will be. So the new goalkeeper that Arsenal have identified, if you guys don't already know who he is, we spoke about him already a couple we a couple a couple times already. We spoke about him actually earlier today on the video that I did. It is none other than Joao uh, Garcia. Yes, the Espanol keeper, Joao Garcia. Arsenal have reached personal. Uh, Arsenal have reached uh, verbal agreements uh, in place with Joao Garcia on personal terms with the Espanol keeper. Priority target should Aaron Ramsdale leave the club this month. This was reported by none other than the man himself, Fabrizio Romano. He tweeted this out. Um, here we go. Three hours ago. So we know who the we know who the replacement is for Ramsdale, and reportedly Arsenal would have to spend a decent amount of money for Joao Garcia. And the reason why I'm kind of grinding my teeth there, it's annoying. Why are we selling Ramsdale on loan? Sending Ramsdale on loan to get Joao Garcia for 20 million. Does that make sense? Does that really, really make sense to you? Does it make sense to you to, to take Ramsdale, send him to Wolves on an initial loan, then pay his wages for us to get Joao Garcia for, what, 10, 20, uh, 20? 20 million. They want 20 million for Joao Garcia. Nearly 100K in the... What are we doing? We're spending so much money on goalkeepers. What are we doing? Like, I, I honestly, I would just keep Rams though. Let him devalue on the bench. But I think he wants to leave. And the club are respecting his decision for him to want to leave. Simply put, 
spending 20 what is it 20 million potentially on Ramsdale's backup we need to have obligations on the table if we're going to do that we need obligations we cannot send we cannot send uh Ramsdale out to to be sold and then not have any obligations on the on the on the horizons we need some sort of obligations in order to let Ramsdale leave because if Ramsdale leaves, we bring on this guy, and then next thing you know, we're now stuck with Ramsdale, and we have the Espanol keeper. It don't make sense. It doesn't make sense. We know that he's the guy that we want in the case that we uh, we, we sell Ramsdale, but we still need to make sure we secure the actual sale of Ramsdale, be it this summer or next summer after, after a year loan, whatever it is, because we cannot afford to have another fuck up sorry for swearing but i do think it would be a huge mistake to let ramsdale leave on loan and then have him come back a year later where we haven't sold him we have a similar situation right now with kieran tierney kieran tierney went on on loan it was great to to, to let him go out on loan but nobody wants him now now we have a player in kieran tierney that nobody wants we don't want and He's not getting enough game time to actually get himself going. It's it's a very it's a conundrum. It's a very bad conundrum, and and you just don't know what to do in that situation. You just don't know know what to do. I just can't believe we're going for this uh, Joel Garcia guy from Espanol, and we're willing to spend how much money? Like that's what's weird about it. We're willing to spend twenty one million. 21 million pound on Joao Garcia, the 23 year old Spanish Espanol striker. I'm uh, sorry, not striker, goalkeeper. 21 million. Let me know what you guys think. Am I overthinking this? Am I overthinking this? Simply put, Arsenal, make sure you secure the bag to sell Rams, though. And if we get his backup, if you get the replacement for him for half the money, then it makes sense. Say, for example, we sell Ramsdale for forty million. We get the backup for twenty million. We kept a twenty million profit, and we go get a winger or a striker. It all makes sense. But if we let Ramsdale leave on a loan and don't secure the actual obligation to buy, we're gonna have a problem down the line, and I could already see it. But hey. I'm going to be positive. I'm going to back it. Hopefully, Edu and these guys know what they're doing and they get it done the way that we, uh, the, the way that we're hoping. But yeah, that's it for today. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Another on Steam Bobma. And of course, Fabrizio Romano also jumping in with his action. But we're out of here. Peace. Catch you guys on the next one. Done now.